So this question looks like a translate word problem question. So what we're going to do is read the question to make sure to write down any quantitative information as we read instead of waiting until the end. So the question says a gardener buys two kinds of fertilizer. Fertilizer A, so I would just say A, contains 60% filler materials by weight. So A has the 60% filler. And fertilizer B contains 40% filler materials by weight. So over here, I'll put B and 40% filler. Together, the fertilizers bought by the gardener contain a total of 240 pounds of filler material. So I can say, based upon that, A plus B is equal to 240 pounds filler. Then it goes on to say, which equation models this relationship where X is the number of pounds of fertilizer A? Okay, so then, all right, so X is the number of pounds of fertilizer A. So we have X here. Uh, and B, I'm sorry, and Y is the number of pounds of fertilizer B. So I have a Y here. So how do I translate this? So I have this equation here, but what does this actually mean? This is telling me that the amount of fertilizer in A plus the amount of fertilizer, or I'm sorry, the amount of filler in A, plus the amount of filler in B is equal to 240 pounds. Whereas this X represents the total amount of fertilizer A. So how much of fertilizer A is filler? Well, we already know that it's 60%. So the way to write that mathematically, we'll, be, we'll call it 0 0.6, right? Anytime we have a percentage given in the question on this test, we want to turn it into the decimal form. So 0.6 or 60% of X is representative of the A, actually. And then 40% of Y, right? 40% of, of uh, fertilizer B is filler. So 0 0.4 times Y is the amount of filler in fertilizer B. And then we add, we add those two together and we get 240. So just to write it more neatly, what I have is 0 0.6 X plus 0.4y is equal to 240. Again, because this equation is strictly about the pounds of filler, and that's why we have what we have here. So that correct answer matches up with choice B.